Hello and welcome to Winning Conversations. We're so glad you're here. It's February and all month long, we're continuing our series of talking to couples. Today is a super fun episode. We sit down with our youth pastors here at Heritage, Alex and Nathanael Bonas. It's a refreshing story of young love that honored God all along the way through all of their courting and through the beginning of their marriage. It's just so refreshing to see a couple who honors God from the start and how it's really possible even in this day and age to do so. We have a lot of fun and we also have a guest appearance here. Baby Allison was here when we recorded and she is just the sweetest. So if you missed the first episode we did when we talked to Pastor Alex, I encourage you to go back and listen to that one because they were expecting men. And now baby Allison is here and she is beautiful and a big part of their story and their journey. They're young parents, a young couple in ministry. And it's just so neat to hear how God is using them and moving in their lives. So let's not waste any more time. Enjoy this conversation with Alex and Azanel. Hello, everybody. We are here with Alex and Azanel. And uh, they, for you who don't know, um, are our youth pastors. One, this is a couple session of our winning conversations. And so obviously we have one of our star couples here with us. Where? Right? Oh, that's good. That's okay. <laughs> They're next. <laughs> They're coming. Uh, they couldn't show up, so we got you guys. No. <laughs> Happy to have you. Right? Uh, how you guys doing today? Good. Good? Good. Yes, you, good. Um, I think a little sleepy, but we're still good. I was to say, because for those of you at home, which is all of you. <laughs> <laughs> or in the car. We don't know where you're at. Um, there is a beautiful little baby sleeping next to us. And could you please introduce the third part of this? Allison Juliet Bonez yeah. is her name. What was why Allison? Um, you know, that's well, a good question. Thank yeah. you for asking that question. Next question, please. Great. So, so her. I just we we did right. have a name before Allison, and okay. it was like up until the week of my baby shower, mm -hmm. um, and I was on my laptop. I work from home, so um, I was reaching out to parents and. Allison just kept coming up and I just like when I saw that name I felt like someone had punched me in the stomach it like hit so in good hard way? and yeah and I guess <laughs> <laughs> but I just felt like I just sat there like I put my laptop to the side and I just felt on the inside that that should be her name mm -hmm. and so I just kind of sat there in my living room like okay this is like the week of the baby shower her name is on everything and so what was the name before annalise which i'm so glad we changed it yeah uh, <laughs> you stuck with the a though yeah. yes. we, with the a. we, we wanted to keep yeah. the a name but i like nicknames and annalise like the nickname would be anna and it makes me think of a grandma Aww. but allison really? makes me think of ali <laughs> which is more cuter i think yeah. So we went with that, which I'm so glad we had like a two hour discussion. Should we change the name? Yeah. So later that <laughs> evening, uh, we had dinner. I had just kind of put on the back burner and um, I was like, Alex, I have to talk to you about something. <laughs> and so I told him what happened. <laughs> And it's then, always a great conversation starter. <laughs> I like, need to hey, talk to you talk, about like, something. Like, yeah, like, what did I do? We need yeah, to yeah. talk. I, I, automatically, the guy's mind is, what did I do? Did I do exactly. something wrong? Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> The so answer is yes. <laughs> I had asked him what he thought about changing her name to. Mm -hmm. And so it literally took two hours for us to like really like. Iron that out. Yeah. I mean, we even call like parents. We're like, what do you think? Is it too late in the game? Or like we have. Is it too late? Have we gone too far? <laughs> <laughs> have we gone like, is there, gone like too deadline far? passed? Like, we don't but know. the great thing is, is that is y'all's decision and you can right. do whatever you want. Yeah, so that's, so what that's exactly that's what, yeah. what yeah. said. There's no rule in the nickname has to be part of the real name, right? I like, don't know. You could make. I guess not technically, I mean, but it does right. work. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's conventional, but like you could yeah. like like. You can there's make, so many random yeah, nicknames that people call people. It's like, uh, oh, that's you know, Toady. You're like, why are you calling Toady? Like, <laughs> His, His name, name is Fred. <laughs> His name is Fred. That's Jerry. Get it together. Uh, yeah. You know, but. You know, I, I like the fact that you guys had like a full on conference. Like, yeah. okay, hey, we need to pray about this. See the Holy Spirit. <laughs> we, need uh, a, we need a fast for three days yeah. just to figure out this what. This is a 40 day liquid fast coming up right now. Just for this decision. It's a lot of pressure. It is. Well, she's here, yeah, by the way, here. for all you listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Allison, don't get it wrong. All right. Is here now. Not Annalise. Uh, thankfully. Um, so like, I feel like I don't know you guys at all. And that's because I don't. Tell us everything. <laughs> right. Like I, the big question I always think about when I meet young couples that are in ministry, like, like 
what was that decision? Like, like you guys as, as a couple, like to do it was like, Hey, do we want to do ministry or was this an opportunity that presented itself? Uh, I mean, to me, like, I wasn't like, should we do, it wasn't like a job looking for like, Oh, let's do ministry as a couple. But it's more like I was just raised in ministry. It's all I really know. It's all I really ever knew. Mm-hmm. And then of course, when like you raise in ministry, you always like, you hear pray for your wife, pray for someone that's going to be on the same um, equally yoke. Mm-hmm. And so like, that's what I prayed for. And that's how I got her. And it wasn't like a conversation of, like, hey, we're me and you are going to go into ministries. It was like, okay, wherever the Lord wants us to be is where we're going to be at. It just so happens that he called us to the ministry. Well, then, so fun, like, rewind that for, for me specifically. How did you guys meet? Like, what was that like? Oh, uh, do you want to tell your <laughs> side of the story? First? I want to hear your side of the story. Okay. Okay, and I'll jump so, in. Um, you I, tell me when she's wrong. <laughs> I met him here, actually, at Heritage of Faith. Okay. Um, seriously? Yeah, seriously. Always. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm I'm already excited. So um, he was a part of a ministry that would come um, from Shreveport, Louisiana, and so they would come help in like age kids, youth, preteens, wherever they needed. And so um, I was actually 18. I was a senior in high school, and um, I would How see old are him. You at this time? I'm 28. Not. Not then. Oh, this time. No, you were not. Okay, so four years. Twenty-two. I was twenty-two at the time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so I see him skateboarding outside one day after youth. What's up, bro? And (laughs) I just thought, oh, he's cute. Like his outfit. He has curly hair. I love curly hair. I really wanted a husband with curly hair. I know. I made it. I made it. (laughs) Check. Check. So, um. Then he started just helping out, and, like, we kind of seemed to be, like, helping out in the same departments. Conveniently. Conveniently, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. And so I started to get to just kind of, I would just kind of sit back and observe, to be honest, like, just kind of, like, how he would act. Um, like, di- di- different situations around people, just kind of get to know him. Like, and, and then, of course, we would talk the most that we could. Yeah. Yes, yeah. the most that we could. The talk. most yes. that we could, because... He was a first year in that ministry, and so strict it was roles. frowned upon to talk to a girl the first year. So, like, we would talk as much as we could. That was allowed. That was, that was allowed. allowed. All right. And I, I mean, way to honor that. Yeah. So, um, but you weren't in ministry. No, no. she was. You were just a student. I was just. She here. was just here. She You're was in youth. You're yeah. part of the youth group. Yeah. yeah, and then I graduated. Trying to corrupt this young man of ministry. <laughs> no. that's, how, that's what I'm hearing. Is that not what you're saying? No. Okay. So <laughs> then um, he, I, so I didn't know about that rule. Um, I messaged him on Facebook and added, tried to send him a request, and he never accepted it. So I'm just like, okay, we interact, but you're not accepting my request. So anyways. How I, many years ago is this? When I was 18. So how many years ago was that? Six years ago. Yeah. I mean, it's like six years ago, Facebook was a big deal. Like yeah, getting right. rejected on Facebook was significant. That's why yeah. I'm trying to like yeah. think about when social media was really, that was like, oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just like, okay. Um, so he had messaged me back explaining that, but I never got the message request mm-hmm. until the end of their year that ended in September. So those whole months, I was just kind of like, okay, I guess he just didn't want to add me. I don't know. Um, until September, he went back and added me. Because now he could. Now, now he could. could. Now, he, now he's a second he year. He was released to go do that now. Yes. <laughs> and um, I saw his message. And so I was like, what? Like, why am I just now getting this message? It was like in April or like a few months before then. Mm-hmm. So um, I went back and messaged him, res- uh, responded back. And then we just like took off from there like we just kept talking to each other Mm -hmm. and so the rule was like second year you could talk outside of the ministry Mm -hmm. and you could talk and if you want to you could court them which is basically dating yeah and so you could do that and so i was like okay so like me and azanel were just talking and we would talk and text every day and i never thought it was wrong i never thought we were doing something wrong because like in the rule book, it's said, you weren't doing anything wrong. Okay, in the rule book, it just said like you like um, you're allowed to do it. <laughs> and let's so see. let's see, <laughs> you weren't. As I know, and I would talk, and I think we were talking the whole like for about two months straight. I got rebuked and corrected for they said I broke code of conduct, and they said I had to delete her number, and I had to 
unfriend her on Facebook and Instagram. So without what'd you do? Without telling me. Without telling her. They said, don't even, like, they just said, just drop it like cold turkey. Yeah, so, so we I, went every day from talking, like, every morning to night. And I basically just ghosted like, her. Do, like, no response. Like, oh. cannot explain to me. <laughs> they made him delete my number in front of them. So you were asked to delete her contacts and everything yes in front of them so you did this so and I did. as an L how did you feel like because you found yeah. prompt like you thought this person was promising right. all this stuff I know and then how did you feel yeah I really felt like I missed it to be honest because I really felt like he was my husband at the time and I really felt like I had missed God I was like did I not hear God correctly like because I in my mindset, I was like, I'm not going to talk to someone unless I'm going to date them to marry sure. them. Because I felt like it was a waste of time to just date. That was just my mindset. Um, so whenever he just completely did not text me anymore, I just felt kind of um, like, I don't know. She was angry. I'm going to uh, yeah, be honest. Was, she was angry was, at me because she thought like. I wonder why. I, I know, rejected, right? Rejected. Yeah, rejected. Just yeah. kind of upset. I mean, it took, it was hard for a while for me. I felt, I mean, I was sad because you talk to this person every day. Mm -hmm. You get attached and then all of a sudden, bye, you know? And so I would actually like, I would pray for him every day. Like I was like, Lord, help me view him the way that you view him. Because it was really hard wow. for me. I've um, never said that prayer. Uh, yeah, I know. I was I know. Before, uh, yeah. I'm like, oh, uh, Lord, give me grace. Uh, That's a good prayer to have. Yes. I'm going to put that, keep that, you know, file That's that in my head. That's a way better prayer than yeah. I was praying. Yeah, file that back. That's good. Okay, so when was it that y'all were finally able to talk again? Because clearly oh, there yeah. was obviously. Okay, so what happened was like, as an elf literally was a trooper because she literally didn't talk to anyone else or date anybody. For three years. For three years until I was able to talk to her, like, again. I kind of felt what Azanel was saying. Like, I thought I missed it, too, because, like, I respected my leadership's there. And I was like, okay, like, if God put me here, that means I'm here for a reason. And he's, he knew the people above me were going to do what they had to do. So I respected their request and just honored, like, okay, like, yes, like, at the time, I, my, I wanted to keep texting her and talking to her. Sure. But, I mean, they said no, so I just had to honor that. And keep in mind, those whole three years, like, I still did not know. When I finally came out of it, I, like, let... Well, first of all, I had, I call it an Ishmael. You know how like Abraham had uh, Ishmael with Sarah, or not Sarah, but the. We don't, we don't talk about her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we call it, a Ish, I, I call it an Ishmael because like I dated someone else because I was like, well, maybe I missed it and maybe I wasn't supposed to be have as an else. So I dated someone else and that was just like. An Ishmael. So, train wreck. <laughs> yeah. So, it's weird when you're not with the, someone you're supposed to be with. Right. How bad it's, it is. How bad it yeah. is. And so, um, after like that whole thing ended, like it was just me and I was just, I told God in my room, I was like, no, God, I was like, I'm done like trying to find my wife. I'm like, I'm just going to run after you as hard as I can and as fast as I can. And the first girl that catches up with me on this ch uh, chase of you is like, who's I'm going to marry? And then, um, as an L came back into my life, it was 2019. So, from 2016 to 2019. We reconnected. And so reconnected. how did that happen? You came back here? Where were uh, you? So what 2019? happened was I posted something on Instagram when I had social media. And um, she commented on it. And we just literally we, picked up right where we left off. Like nothing happened. Yeah, what? And it was I, so yeah. easy. Like he is a very easygoing person. So we just picked up where we left off. And like since then. Well, clearly it worked out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it worked out. Just since then we just. I told her what happened, and she was like, oh, I was so mad at you, <laughs> and all this. And I was like, I had, like, no choice, and I was just being, like, respectful. And Is that but, a tough pill to swallow? I mean, I still remember, like, where I was. We Because we were long distance mm -hmm. for six months. He lived in Houston, and I lived here. Okay. And so um, a lot of our conversations, I mean, were over the phone on FaceTime. Um, and so I still remember him, like, explaining that to me. And so it made a lot of sense, and I knew he was being – genuine about it like he was being honest mm -hmm. um and so fun story <laughs> once i found that out i mean so when you guys got reconnected like what was that then what was that process like once you actually were able to be together um like you moved here yes so you yeah so i moved here i always say she locked me down is what i say because <laughs> i came one day because i would come <laughs> i would come 
like I said, um, we were six months. Yes, we were long six distance. months um, long distance, and I would come every once a month just to like have a weekend date with her. Mm-hmm. And then uh, one weekend, like her dad's like, "Hey, like uh, if you want to move down here, like just there's a job opening here, just have an interview." And I was like, "Okay." So I went that Friday to go to that interview, and I'm thinking like they're gonna hire me, and they're like, "Yeah, you can start next month." And I get hired, and they're like, "Okay, you start Monday." And I was like, "Oh, so I'm not coming back home to Houston." So I, I always say like, "As know, locked me down when I," and she knew it. <laughs> so I moved to you. <laughs> You're like, "Oh, not again, not again." Um, so okay, so you start. What is that? That was a ministry job, though, right? That was no, just, that was just a like regular? a regular. Job. Okay. So I moved here, and then we just started as boyfriend and girlfriend. And then moved up to engagement, which was fun. She would always tell me, when are you going to pop the question? So I was like, <laughs> like she already knew it was coming. Mm. Like, Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's a funny did. story, though. Um, I had the picture of the ring on my phone. And like I had it. And she was doing a, a photo shoot for a couple. And she's like looking through my phone for ideas. And she swipes on it. <gasps> And I was like, no. And she like swipes. She's like, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. It was just like. <laughs> it was like really a quick, quick glance of what it was. Yeah. So how long before like the. So like I always ask because I got married. When I, from the moment I met my wife to the moment I got married was nine months. Like when I knew I knew. Yes. You guys pretty much sound like you. Amidst all the turmoil, there's a knowing there. Yes. Right. You know what I mean? Like you felt like God say, hey, this is. He's for me and vice versa. So when you guys got back to the. You move here. How long before you popped the question and like... Was it a year? It wasn't even a year, was it? Whenever you, you proposed? Because I moved here in 2020. January 2020. And then I proposed in like July. Of... um Of 2020 because we got married in 2021. Yes. Yeah, COVID. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Relationship. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was right before COVID. Like I still... I'm like, I, I think it would have been hard if we were long distance during COVID. Mm-hmm. Because he had moved right before like it, said, it was like Lord, March. He moved in January. The Lord. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's basically our, our story of how we became yeah. husband and wife. Nice. Yeah. How's it been? It's been fun. Yeah. Um, what? Well, how long have y'all been married? Tell everyone how long you've been married. A year and. She's gonna count the months. <laughs> I hope she knows them. Four months. <laughs> we have four months. So in this room, we have less than five years collective marriage experience. I have. I celebrate three years in April because I got married oh, wow. in April of 2020, like a COVID. Really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. You had that. Yeah. So I get what you guys are going through. Like I have a lot of sympathy for your situation. <laughs> I'm a week and three days. Yeah. She's so just, she's just <laughs> right a week this and three. Here. I know newbie over here. You know all of us seasoned veterans. Yeah. Here. <laughs> Look, here. I'll catch up. All right. <laughs> You'll get there. I'll You're get there. Fun. I'll get there. And so, like again, I have I, as going on three years. I have you know I go back to like when I was married a year. It's amazing. Like and I still very much feel like I'm in a like an amazing season with my yes. wife. And so I, I people say, Oh, the honeymoon's going to end. I'm like, I hope it never ends. You okay. Know? Well, as someone who is in the honey, honey, hun- honey honeymoon, honey, yeah. fresh in the honeymoon phase, <laughs> what can y'all tell me after being married a year? What advice could you give a newbie like myself? I would say, I mean, marriage is, um, it's not a one person thing, but it's literally two servants who fell in love serving each other is what it is. And it's um, just serving each other the best you can, not trying to get anything out of it. Yeah. And also, um, don't throw your expectations on him. Like, you were expecting your spouse to um, act a certain way, but he has no idea that there's expectation on him. And so if you realize when you stop putting expectation on, like, when I stop putting expectation on as you know, like, why isn't she doing this? Why? When I stop doing that and just start, you're like, no, I'm just going to serve her. Like, that, that, it just stops all arguments and everything. Because like you're no longer seeing why isn't she doing this now you're just changing like what can I do to help her, yeah. so I would just say like don't have a expectation mindset but have a servant heart, and I would say that would keep you in the honeymoon for a long time. Got that, Dan? We call it a, in our we call it a debt debtor relationship. I don't ever want to look at my wife as like she owes me. Yes, or I owe her. Like I don't ever want to be in a debt debtor. It was one of the best marriage counseling advice we got. Well, we got through our marriage. I'm sure. Do you guys do marriage counseling? Yes. Premarital Marital. counseling. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, not marriage counseling. <laughs> premarital. <laughs> that'll, that'll come. No, <laughs> <laughs> we did our premarital at the first, like one of the best lessons we were told was like, don't ever, 
don't want to be in a debt debtor relationship with your spouse. Yeah. Because that just builds resentment. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, you owe me X. Like, yeah. no, you don't. You know what I mean? And no, I don't. And so that was that or was. Or keeping a, count. That was another yes, one that we exactly. learned too. Like, don't keep just count. keeping count. Like, like I did doing? this, so you do. You yeah. know. Which I mean, those points are raised every day. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like every day. Like you yeah. think, like, I bought you flowers yesterday. Don't, that was yesterday. Today's right? a new day. Yes. <laughs> oh flowers what every day. Okay, <laughs> Asanel, what do you have to say? Um, I would say, like, I mean, marriage, you're a team. So, like, something that we do is, like, blessing one another. Um, like, we're always, like, I feel like we're always, like, outdoing each other. <laughs> it's a fun um, game. Yeah. So, just, like, um, blessing one another. And, like Alex said, not not putting, what's the word, not stereotypes, but, like, a wife has to do household stuff. Yeah. And a man has to do, like, outdoor things you know like we work as a team so if like now like we have to wash bottles and you know um do a lot more uh washing or like dishes or laundry like it's whatever whoever gets Here, it done just like, do what needs yes. to get yes. done yeah mm -hmm. yes me and her are both the chefs at home and the maids at home <laughs> yeah. we both basically handle it together well i'm sure like the past year hasn't all been Sunshines and rainbows. Sunshines and rainbow. Or what do you say? I always say rainbows and skittles. Rainbows and skittles. Phrase. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard it. It's not all rainbows and skittles. So I'm sure there has been things that have come up. How do you all handle disagreements or rough times or all of that? Like, how do you handle those things? Um, well, usually we put on some bo boxing gloves and she has a mean like hook. <laughs> about. Um, so like, you watch <laughs> out. I choose my fights very, very carefully because <laughs> that right hook, I tell you. No. <laughs> oh no really we just why do you keep flinching by the way i'm <laughs> yeah. just curious for all of our listeners at home why you guys don't see this but she's like very <laughs> very <laughs> oh my there. gosh like, uh but no really i think we just if it's an argument we literally just sit down and like we don't like to yell or, like we don't like raising our voices like i never see the need of raising your voice and so we don't raise our voice we just Talk like this right now. We just like, okay, like that's your perspective. Let's talk about it. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's what you're feeling. Well, this is what I think we should do. And then sometimes if we don't agree, we just sit and just let it sit. And then we'll come back to it when we're a lot more chiller than yeah. I'm in my head. I'm in my flesh. And so, and then obviously like we always pray about what we're going to do. Yeah. I'm like, are you getting this or am I getting that? Is it just me or? Yeah. So we, I think that's how we just do it and communicating really yes. is the biggest thing. You Definitely else to say? communication. Because in the beginning, I would ask him, like, how is your day? And he would just answer with one word, good. I thought, and so, I thought that was what it meant. Like, how's your day? Good. And so it was more than just, I mean, we had to, like, really, he had to learn. I had to work on communicating. I had to yeah. learn how to decode um, her language. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. how was your day is basically saying, tell me about everything you did today is what she really meant to say. <laughs> Not, yeah. so Why did you not know that beforehand? I guess I know. I wasn't <laughs> led by the spirit at that time. <laughs> That's on you. That's on me. <laughs> so communication, just keeping things open. Keeping things open. Um, I mean, both of us like we like we don't hide anything. Yeah. Like we both have like our faces on our phones. Like there's nothing to hide. I don't have anything on social media, so there's nothing really to hide. Mm -hmm. They don't have anything unless it's like a gift that we are bad at, because. Christmas comes and we like we know each other's gifts before we even wrap it. Yeah, and I accidentally like um, she left my present. Left out. his present out yesterday. Oh, so. <laughs> so he already knows what he. But gets. you're gonna be surprised right? when you get it. Like, okay, act okay. surprised. Yes, yes, I will keep my Amazon account separate for the rest of my life because, because if they could read. They what you will got. see. Yeah. I have yes. to tell. Like I got like four Amazon packages delivered yesterday, and I had to say, do not. Do not open the Amazon packages. Right. Those are your gifts. Yes. If you want them, you will not open. Because if you open them, I will send them back. When it comes to gifts, you've got to learn to think outside the box. So I've learned to be very creative with how I go about procuring gifts, presents, all those things, which has made it more fun. Because I can't just go buy something. So easy. Sounds so amazing. Whereas she, because I don't, I look at the end number. I don't look at the, like the numbers throughout the, the, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So like she could, like, she has a lot more freedom to do stuff that I'm like, you know, I'm looking at the end, like at the end of the month, like, all right, let's reconcile these, this budget. So like, that's how she gets away with it. And she's a way spender. Plus we have a lot of random family. So there's always, there's so many random bills that I'm like, what is this? What? 
like, that it almost, it's like I'm getting waterboarded with expenses. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just, sometimes I'm like, just, just let me know when it's the first, you know what I mean? Like, 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 I just, I just, like just let me know when we get there. You know what I mean? Like, so it just depends. Everyone has their own approach. Yeah. Yeah. I can't be trusted to handle money or to know how much At least is in you know that. account. I, I fully know that. Are you I'm the, well are you the aware. spender or are you the, are you the saver? I don't know. I feel like it can be both. I think like she's um, the saver when it comes to food, like she, out to eat. She's like, no, I'm not gonna put mo- like. I don't like, know. I, don't I just don't like to spend money on food. She doesn't like, like spend money on food, like restaurants, but clothing, <laughs> not a worry. It's she, the more important. We all have our weakness. Yeah, because yeah, I'm like, <laughs> it's gonna last longer. It will. <laughs> yes, you'll be satisfied from hunger for like an hour, and then you'll be hungry That's again. I'll said. be able to wear this dress for years. So right. I, I completely get that. Um, but I'm like, babe, we ate chicken salad sandwich for like the past three days. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it was Costco. Right? We, we got another four days. <laughs> That's great. We do eat out. <laughs> so weird question though. Being a younger couple, do you feel like your relationship is amplified because you're in the youth ministry? Like the like the the kids you are overseeing, kind of pouring into. You're a very close distance to where they're at right now. Yeah. You yeah. Know what I mean, like like they're in high like uh, high school, middle school. Like so, seeing you guys late twenties, but you know, early twenties kind of like, wow, that that's, that's very foreseeable in their world. Yes. Is that something that you guys think about when it comes to like how you go about your ministry? I, I would say, yeah, because when we first, I mean, even when we got married, we always want to say we wanted to be examples to the like older and younger generation. Yeah. That way they could see like what a godly uh, couple looks like, mm-hmm. not one that acts like, but looks like, and like it's important, especially for our youth. Cause they're always, I don't know. High school hormones kick in, and like everyone dates everyone. Yeah, and so, church, it's weird. Especially, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, Sorry, it's, it's, no, it's, 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 it's true. true. All of his first dates probably from church people. You know, yeah. it's, it's true. It's true. true. It's true. So, uh, like, I'm not dating no heathen. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess just like us being a married couple just shows an example, of like what it looks like. And we had um, youth actually tell us like they really like uh, me and Azanel as a figure. And I had um, some youth. Um, to say, like, I want a husband like Pastor Alex because, like, when Azanel was at home when I was at camp, they told me to spell uh, beautiful, oh and I spelled God. Azanel's name, and they were all like, oh, <laughs> and then, man. like, they just this spoke vomit to them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on, bro. Save some for the rest of us, all right? <laughs> well, that's yeah. what I, like, stuff like that is just, like, and, like, in my mind, like, I'm not trying to be, like, oh, like, I'm, let me show you what, how a man should be. Like, in my mind, it's just me being me. And um, it just shows, like, like I didn't think that would speak volume to them, but it did. Mm-hmm. But, like, who well, you are. Good, sorry to cut you off. Like, but a lot of kids don't have that that example. Yeah. Of yeah. what a Christian couple that walks in faith, that operates in faith, that they don't get to see that a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wish all families were, were strong, amazing yes. at that level, but a lot of times kids only get to see the examples around them. And so that's why I say it's really such a cool thing to be as young as you are, as close as you are, like, like age-wise and experience-wise. Not experience, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, I think it's an amazing thing that they can look and see, like, hey, they're a couple years in front of us, but, like, that's what it looks like. Yes. Yeah. You know, so it gives a really great path forward. It's relatable, and, yeah, that's they can I see themselves in, in you. So tell us one thing you love about your spouse, a quirk, or it could be something sweet, something funny, whatever, just something you love about your spouse you want to go first or yes. you okay <laughs> well it's probably just one thing it was kind of hard to um just pick one thing you can pick one thing is it my curly you hair you can okay you can i'll one allow outside, two one inside fine let's do it <laughs> one outside one inside that we're doing? Yeah. okay i love your organs that's what <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> right strong lungs <laughs> strong lungs <laughs> love <That's> those <laughs> <laughs> um it would be his curly hair and then how patient he is. He's really patient with me. And Allison now. And Allison, yes. Yeah. I see, clearly, patience is significant. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's a reoccurring theme. Patience is, yeah, it is reoccurring. It's a lot of patience. Um, My turn? Please. Hold yeah. on. As an L, would you say you have a lot of patience? Um, Probably not as much as Alex does. He's pretty patient, like. Stays calm and just easy going. It's so funny because there's times where she's like, how are you not getting upset by this? And I'm just like, it's okay. 
Yeah. Everything's fine. Yeah. I, he's yeah. taught me a lot in that area. Yeah. On your team, has an I, I'm well, the why same. Why are you not upset right now? <laughs> I'm the same. I go from zero to 100, but Ryan's at like a steady like yeah. level at all times. Just so chill all the time. And I'm like, I, I'm like freaking out over here. Like I'm losing my mind. Yeah. And it's, because I mean, it is the, I feel like oh. it's Hispanic women. Yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah crazy like yeah. you go you go from cool to crazy in a matter of seconds <laughs> oh, and yeah well, I, like, like i said i think i told um like girls are like cats and guys are like dogs which i've never heard anything more true because like it's so true it is, like so for a man like men you could like kiss us you could hug us you could like pet us tell us to do something we'll do it women on the other hand are like cats like they have to be in the mood for a hug like you can't just like <laughs> let me hug you they're like no don't touch me like there's times where, like, as an know, like, if something happens and she's frustrated, I'm like, your back's up. Like, a cat, like, is like, well, your back's up. I'm like, like, let me pet you down. Let me pet you down. Like, come down. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. But I want, I want love when I want it. And I want you to know when that is. Like, yeah. But yeah. it's so hard. Because, like, I try to give it to you, like, three minutes earlier. And then, like, five minutes later, you're like, okay, I want a hug now. I was like, I don't know. Uh, isn't that funny how we're all different? But yeah. there's some things that we are all so the same in. Like, we yeah. are so alike in that. Yeah. Okay. Now, Azanel's quirk or something that you love about her. Okay. Um, first of all, I would have to say I love her eyes. <laughs> yes, I love your green little eyes. Well, they're not little. They're big. And they're, I, not I, eyes. they're not they're little, big. but they're big, and I love them. Um, second, I would say is your, um, not determination, but it is determination. It's just, yeah, I would say determination. Just like when you start something, you finish it. You don't stop or you don't give it like halfway. You give it your all. And like watching your photography page, because you were nervous in the beginning, but stepping out is just being determined that I'm going to give the best that I could give. And it shows that you still have clients from two years still. So I would say your determination to get things done. Uh, is one of the big things I love because if you know me, like I'm like, oh, I'm going to do it. Oh, I'm tired. Okay. I'm going to take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> so like just seeing that, it's just, it's good to have. I think it'd be, it's, I always say that we have good balance because Alex, he doesn't know deadlines or due dates and I'm the complete opposite. Like mm -hmm. I have a planner and I'm so, I am a very much she a planner. She loves planners. I like love I've never seen planners. anyone go to TJ Maxx and be like, I'm going to go to the notebook <laughs> section. I'm like, why? I didn't know they had one. <laughs> I love yeah. them. I mean, I just, I don't know. I think that's how I made it through graduate school too. Because like all the deadlines and due dates. <sighs> See, yeah. I didn't go to college. Good balance. So. Oh, yeah. Good balance. Good balance. Yeah. All right. Let's play our game. This is fun. Okay. We're going to say the most likely to, and then you'll say who's most likely to. Pretty easy, right? Yes. Any questions? Are we good? Okay. Most likely to buy something ridiculous. That's probably me. Yeah. That's probably me. Do you yeah. have any examples? Um, When I was, this is before I started, um, before me and Azanel were even um, dating, I once bought a Batman costume just because I wanted one. What? Do you I mean, still have it? <laughs> No. Oh, why? Uh, no. I, honestly, I don't we know what happened to it. something ridiculous, and that seems very normal, sir. So I need you to give me something ridiculous. And like I would love to Who say that. Batman like, costume. I would love to say that I was Doesn't like 13 everybody? when I bought it, but I was like 19 when I bought it. So I was like, kind of, it's more no, sad. Batman's awesome. It doesn't okay. make sense Doesn't at 13. It makes perfect sense with your own money at 19. Okay? So that means you appreciate that Batman outfit. Right? It wasn't just a gift. Oh, that's great. Okay, most likely to forget an anniversary. Alex. We haven't had a chance yet. Well, we had our one year. Well, or, oh, birthdays, had our one year. or birthdays. Or birthdays. Or any of that. Dates. Yeah, it's like, uh, you would forget I a birthday? I would because I'm bad at dates. And She's like I said, Azanel is a planner. She loves okay. planners. Yeah. She actually She's bought written down plan. seven different ways. <laughs> and 25 phone alerts, calendar alerts. She actually do. does that. She puts a, a <laughs> reminder on her phone. I got to remind yes. me to do this. Uh, that's how I balance everything that I'm involved with. Mm. I have to put yeah. reminders on my phone for everything. It's like my wife shares her calendar with me. Because like she'll make the events and shares it with me. Because oh, otherwise, I'm always idea. like, "What are we doing?" Because her calendar is packed, and mine's just like, <laughs> there. "Mine's just there." Like, it just exists. I'm like, oh, so it. that's you what the day like, is. Oh, what's today. that number mean? You know what I mean? Like, I was just gonna say that I have to ask my husband for my family members' birthdays because I'm terrible at remembering birthdays. <laughs> no shame. Most likely to get angry when driving. That's my favorite. 
Actually, that is me too. <laughs> wow. I don't know what it is, but traffic. I need. It's infuriating. Yes, I need. I just, I just need to work on it. It's like my flesh just comes out, and it's just. <laughs> I'm just mad at every little thing. I don't know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Hey, we all got. You know, I'm, yeah, yeah. Like I don't know. I, what it is. I start barking and just like barking at everyone. Barking, <laughs> like literally barking. Like, <laughs> <laughs> literally barking at the cars. So I, I think I know the answer based on what we've talked about so far. But who's most likely to overspend? I would say her. Probably me. It's fair. Yes, clothes. That's your that's clothes, your boutiques. Yeah, anything that I like shopping. She likes shopping. All right. Online shopping or real shopping or just Both. shopping? Both. All of the above? It's nice. All right. Who's most likely to fall asleep first? And I, it's different now because you have a newborn, so it changes the game slightly. But if, like, before her. We can do it before, Allison. Um, there's two types of people in this world. There's people who are like, oh, my gosh, it's already 10 o'clock. And there's people who's like, oh, it's only 10 o'clock. As in Elza, oh, it's only 10 o'clock. And I'm the, oh, my gosh, it's 10 o'clock. I need to go to bed. <laughs> Thank you. That is very much true. I'm like, oh, 7 30. It's getting kind of late, guys. Yes. You know, yeah. like, oh, I'm like, like let's uh, pump the know, brakes here. Let's yeah. she's like, like this bed's not gonna fill us up. We need to, you know, like <laughs> yeah, I think when we first got married, like our dinner was like at 8 30. I'm like, it is late. I was like, 8 <laughs> 30 dinner? Yes. Yes, because I worked out of the home. So now I, work. I don't know how that's an excuse for an 8 30 dinner. I don't know how that's like, like oh, because I, I want to come home and relax then and make dinner. And that's what she would do. Oh. We'd have like 8 30 dinners. I'm like, I got to go to bed like an hour and a half. Like, it's getting late. <laughs> I just, I'm like, it's 7 30. I'm like, oh, what are we doing here, guys? Like, what are we trying to prove? You know, you know? Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> uh, who's the better cook? Probably Alex. I would say it's me. I enjoy cooking. I don't know. I just, I just enjoy it. I prefer to clean. As an old prefers oh. to clean, and I prefer to cook. I mean, that's a fantastic duo, though. Yeah. Because there's nothing worse than we both like to cook and no one likes to clean. <laughs> <laughs> no we one likes to clean. What's your favorite thing to cook? I would think I have made, what is it called? The chicken spinach? What? She doesn't like it because, well, she did like it. <laughs> and then she got pregnant. It's my favorite thing to cook. I can no longer cook. I can no longer cook because. I, we can't have it anymore because I threw up when I had it. Because oh. she was oh. pregnant in like her first worst. trimester. So it just sells all this flashback. So but it like, was. Oh. Spinach uh, dip, like was it spinach dip? It was Garchos like it was like chicken spinach, stuffed chicken, yeah. with spinach dip, mm. and it was all homemade. Like nothing was stored by. I just homemade it all. It was good, and but it now was I'm good. Like, and then like now she's like, no, I can't eat it because it brings back all these memories. But it's yeah. so good. And maybe one day. I know. Right? I already day. offer it. Yeah. She's like, no, I can't eat that. Like, My sister in law lost cilantro for the exact same reason. <gasps> really? <sighs> Which is like delicious. Like my favorite. <laughs> Of all the whatever's category you want to call that, like all basil. the whatever's, yeah, you know what I mean. all the herbs, like the all tasty the herbs, herbs. <laughs> right? Cilantro is my favorite. She's like, I can't have it. I'm like, oh my god, my heart broke for that day. <laughs> um, date night ideas. What do y'all? What's your favorite date night idea, or what do y'all like to do? What do you like to do? I feel like it changes. Um, well, we used to like to hammock. And like have picnics, but we haven't done that in a while. Yeah, as I know, likes hammocking and picnics, and, <laughs> and I like just to watch a movie and eat popcorn. I yes. call that as a date night. But she's like, let's go to the park and then let's go hammocking. What and is some, hammocking? We uh, <laughs> we go to laying in other people's hands? laying so in a like, hammock. Like, like, no, no, we in have a hammock. hammock. Okay, so you set it up. So we yes. set it up. We go to Trinity like Park and we set it up. A verb. <laughs> we're, hammocking. we're hammocking tonight. <laughs> yes, uh, hammocking. Tonight we are hammocking. Pack it up. We're going. Me, you, and Allison. Let's go. <laughs> I say so that because we have a hammock for the exact same reason. Yeah. So y'all haven't hammocked in a it's, while. It's been a while, but our movie nights have been really good. There's nothing. There's literally nothing better than going to the movies and having movie, movie theater popcorn. It is my favorite oh, thing in the world to do. It is, but here's the I thing. Really As like know, does not like movies. If it's a movie over an hour, she will not. Like, she's like, that's too long. So that's every movie. Listen, exactly. Exactly. That's every movie. <laughs> it has to be like something I think that I really enjoy watching the for other, me to sit there and watch yeah. it. The other day we watched uh, The Muppets. It was a Christmas special and it was a 45 minutes long and that was it? You're like, oh. And she's like, that's well, perfect. Well, we didn't watch it. We didn't watch it all the way. Because <laughs> I've seen enough. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Ryan get was it. not a movie watcher before he started dating me, but we're such big movie fans that you're going to go to the movies and you're going to eat popcorn with me. That's just what Honestly, we like to do. what inspires me is like it. the ICs. She only goes for the ICs and the... That's, that's like the only reason why I'll go. But then when I got pregnant, 
I can't. I can't eat those anymore. <sighs> And so we didn't really go to the movies that much either anymore. So we can blame the baby for that oh, one. Yeah. Allison. <laughs> Allison. Allison. Come on, right. girl. That's why we can't have nice Come things. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so we, as you've probably experienced, close the podcast out with uh, the theme of this this house is, is making winners in life. But because this is a couple's edition, we want to know how is your spouse winning in life? So answer that for the other person. Um, How is she winning in life? I mean, obviously I would say... She has a foundation in God, not in me, not in um, like Allison or us, but just having her foundation in God is the first thing. First, um, when we first started this relationship, she always told me, like, I'm going to be the second, like, in her life. First is God. And, like, totally understand that. And so I think she's, like, that's why she's winning in life is because I'm not her happiness. I, like, I would, I love to make her happy. I love to make her laugh. But really, like, her true joy doesn't come from me. It comes from God. And knowing that, and she knows her identity in God, is what's making her in this relationship a winning life. Um, I would say his would be um, stepping into what he's called to do. So just um, him fulfilling like what he's called to do here on this earth with the youth. And um, just I've seen him in different scenarios with the kids, and he is so anointed with kids. Like just, um, it's just like a different anointing. I've never, I had never experienced before, like seeing him with the kids and the youth. So yeah, that'd be my answer. That's awesome. Oh, you're so cute. I love you. You're so oh, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Anyways, <laughs> we're here too. <laughs> sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry. Are we leaving? <laughs> so should we go? Uh, I'm glad y'all said, <laughs> like, <laughs> said something. I was about to start singing. Okay. <laughs> Please, no. Well, thank y'all so much for coming and talking to us. Um, it was a treat. It was awesome. It's it great to hear from younger couples that, like we said, relatable. We can relate to you. And we loved hearing from our youth pastors. Um, just a reminder, a new episode drops every Friday morning. So stay tuned for more Winning Conversations.